Welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to be adding a new library for our layout, or for our schematic rather. So we're going to add a new library and add a uh, simple symbol to it, and that's going to allow us to basically get started with creating. Say we have a new component that we want to use. We have a new symbol we need to insert into our schematic. Let's take a look at what that looks like here. So first things first. Here's our existing schematic. What we're going to do is go into the library editor, which is this op-amp thing here. We're going to load up some libraries. Pull it up into this uh, here. What you see is that we actually have a library already selected, rfmodule.lib, and it says read only. All of the libraries that are included with, with uh, KiCad, when you, when you select install libraries during your install, it'll install all the ones from uh, the GitHub repository. It's no longer tied to GitHub, and that's important to know as well. Uh, but you can go and update them from there if you'd like. There is a lot of theory about uh, library management and how you want to do this kind of thing. We're just going to go with the defaults for now. So uh, confusing button choice here. This is not add a new library. This is actually add to an existing library. This is create a new library. So what we're going to do is create a new library in here. We're going to call it test. Okay. We're going to add it just to the project. So this is a choice that actually exists in the uh, library uh, editor, what we can go and look at in a second here. We're going to say just add this to the single project here. And then we're going to go and add a new component. It should be this one. We're going to uh, select the library that's in. It should be test. It should be able to select that. Now we're going to give it a name. We're going to call it test component. And now we can start doing things like adding pins. Pin 1 would be ground. And pin 2 would be power. Now you might be asking, well, why aren't you doing the electrical input like this? You can do this. I usually do not. That's basically for ERC checks. We'll go over that in a different video. And we'll do one for signal. Why not? OK. So we've got these different inputs here. Create a little component. Everything looks good. Well, it doesn't look good. But we can start moving stuff around. Mouse over, hit M to move uh, like this. We can create a bounding box around all this stuff. Click once and then drag to move things around. And then you can mouse over, hit E, and then do fill background. I like doing that. I think it helps make it stand out some more. Hit save, and it's going to save your library. But you did, oh, maybe you didn't see it down here on the left. When you start moving stuff around and editing things, so let's just move this pin up a little bit. You see, uh, you see here in this library, so it shows both the library and the component as having a star and in bold. And that means that basically there's a saved change to be saved. If you hit save, then it's good to go. If you have, if you're editing a component that exists in multiple libraries, I believe it actually brings up dialogue to uh, to say which library you want to actually save it in. So you have to be careful here. Now, like I think I think I, think I showed in a past video, you can also right click on the symbol, you can copy it, you can duplicate it. So there we go. We have test component zero now. And now we hit save, and it should be good to go. Now what we can do is go back to our schematic, go into our preferences, manage symbol libraries. This is what I was show, talking about. It does not exist in our global libraries, what we're showing here. This is actually what's default installed from the KiCad project, but it is actually here. So this is the test library that exists in, uh, in this thing here. OK, so that is how you add a brand new symbol library. We could have hit A. If we hit A and then drop a library or the temp symbol in here, we should be able to see test component, and here's that thing. And now we have a new, brand new uh, symbol in our schematic. There's a lot more to go over with library stuff. Like I mentioned, there's a lot of theory, and you know, people have de really not even theory, just preferences. People have different preferences on how they like managing their library, and I think it's important to kind of understand. There's going to be different ways that you can organize your stuff. You're, you're going to experience other people's projects. Those might be a little bit different as well. But hopefully this showed you how to create a brand new symbol and a new library. I think it's a little bit easier in KiCad 5.0 than 4.0. If you have more questions about how we're doing it differently, you can go over to the KiCad forum. That's forum.kicad.info. Or you can go over to the, Ki the Contextual Electronics forum. That's forum.contextualelectronics.com. We talk about generally about electronics and what component you might want to add in the first place. That's all for now. We'll have more videos here on Contextual Electronics YouTube. Thanks for watching.